Hey y'all. I'm adding in, hey Taji, a guest today. It's a nice, beautiful lady I met off Clubhouse. I'm gonna add her on. So, I'm just waiting on her to comment. Yet. Comment, girl. Comments, comments, comments. Real relationship talk. What's that? I don't know where she at. She not commenting. Mentality of a goddess. Hey, girl. What's up? Hi. Hi, move your hand. <laughs> can I filter? <laughs> you can do whatever you want, but we can't see you. You got to back up. Okay. Can you see me now? Yes. There you go. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So, y'all, I'm at this beautiful... Now, okay, tell me your name. Faith Rose. Faith. I remember Faith. Okay, I met this beautiful lady on Clubhouse, and we are trying to get her out of her shell. So I was like, you know what? We about to go live, put you on live, and um, get over that fear. Let me move this. Yeah. We were talking about fears on Clubhouse, so I'm giving her the opportunity to use this platform to kind of tell a little bit of her story and break out of her shell. So, Faith, you want to introduce yourself and go for it. Okay, so I'm Faith Rose. My upcoming brand is Mentality of a Goddess. Um I'm basically just here to overcome my fear of speaking in person. I've done radio internationally. I've done, you know, parties and things like that. But back in like 2007, I was a pageant queen. I was just like that all-American girl who was just so in love and happy and just, you know, so self-confident. I had like everything you could think of, right? And then I got into a relationship. Don't judge me, y'all. And unfortunately, it ended up in me getting into an altercation with another female, and she almost stabbed me to death. Sorry. It's okay, girl. Take your time. Take your time. Um, yeah, so it was the night before my 20th birthday, and... Um, Ever since then, I lost confidence in my vanity because everybody was like, oh, you're so pretty. Um, you look just like your mom. You know, just all those things that you get, like compliments. I never let it make me get big-headed, but I just could never get that self-confidence back. And so what, ca what caused you to lose that confidence? What, was there scars on your face? or oh, got you? you can see, I have on makeup. And my friends were like, she gonna make you wipe it off. I'm like, no, I know, because I told you I was coming natural. But, um, you know, like across here, she cut across my temple around here. It almost ruptured the nerve and across here. And then I have like some wounds on my back. I have like this really big tattoo back there because I tried to cover it up. Got you. Um, yeah, it happened at a gas station. I finally like broke the ties with him. And I was just like, I can't keep doing this. You know what I'm saying? I was 19. I wasn't really knowledgeable in relationships. He was my first. And um, I just got tired of it. We went through the whole toxic breakup. And that was like my first time seeing them again after um, some time. So I got tired of feeling like 
I wasn't worthy of having somebody that was just for me, you know, just for you. Right, right, right. Yeah. Right, right. So I, the moment I, and th this is another reason why I feel like a lot of women who are in those type of relationships have a hard time breaking apart because they're like, as soon as you break apart, that's kind of like when that fatal attraction comes in. Mm -hmm. He didn't do it. Let me make that clear. He did not do it. It was her and I, um, she ended up going to jail. She was in this to like eight years. She became a convicted felon. Um, her and I have not had any conversation after. Mm. We live in a small community in Maryland. So she literally lived up the street from me. Her and her friends antagonized me on MySpace. They were creating fake profiles. And even while we were in the court pro proceedings, um, taking Ooh, place in the courtroom, I got arrested out of my mama's house twice because they said that I was the one that did it. So I had to go through that process while we had to wait from the incident to when we went to trial, trial June of the next year. So I had to go through my grandmother seeing me get arrested, my mother seeing me get arrested, my neighborhood seeing me get arrested. They sent bounty hunters the second time. And my grandmother, she doesn't speak English. And she was like, don't take her, take me. <sighs> it's okay, so, baby. I mean, it's just a lot, and I don't want to drown the laugh because it's all about positivity. Yeah, I but. think I think the main thing now is so you can tell your story and it be a testimony. You have to heal. You don't want to, you know, you know, not be healed and going through this. You have to do that on your own before you get on your major major platforms and do that. That's why I'm so proud of you for even getting on a live and being confident. What is that? This is my prayer journal. <laughs> oh, yay. Good. From um, April Diva Style. She's local. And good. I actually bought it because I said 2020 was my year to take my power back. And 2021 is going to be my year to use it. So I have all yeah. my manifestations. Like, I'm a manifesting person. But when you don't have that type of energy that surrounds you, it kind of, like, deters you after a while. So I have my highs, lows. I have my yep. plateaus, and you have to you do know. that healing and in, in, in with yourself, so you can share that journey with people. And you know, those scars are not to you don't look any different. Your soul isn't any different. Those scars should be a memory of what God brought you through, not a dark time, not not a time that is you know you're you're sad about. But once you go through that healing, now th those scars are a physical testimony of how you are still living to this day. You could have been dead, you know. So the yeah. worst did the worst did not happen. You are still living today, and there is a reason why you are here to tell that story. But you have to do the healing first before you can you know help other people. Your t story will help other people, but you have to heal for yourself first. So I'm yes, so proud so. for taking the first step yes. to, to doing that. Yes, I love I'm that. So, I'm so grateful for you because I see you do so many things. And then when you start speaking on your anxieties and how you throw up, I literally, like, I had to pee so many times. I had to throw up. I had to, like, get myself together. And I'm just really being transparent because I want people to see my growth. After yeah. 2021, I don't want to keep on, you know, getting emotional o emotional over it. I don't want to keep on having panic attacks every yeah. time I'm in a new, you know, friendship or circle and they don't know my story. So they start to ask about my scars. So I'm this really manifesting. You have to get to the point where it doesn't make you uncomfortable. It doesn't right. bring up trauma. You don't cry. It, it's, it's you standing in your truth because that is your truth now. That's right. who you are. So right. it's nothing you can do about the past. It's nothing we can do to change that, but we can change our emotions, our feelings, our mindset moving forward. And to do that, you have to heal. And then, right. you know, we can touch and help so many other people. So give them your Instagram because I want you to, um, uh, you guys to follow her. It's mentality of a goddess. Okay. Now your Instagram cannot be that name. Why? No, I'm saying your Instagram can't be that name without you walking in that name. If you're going to have the mentality of a goddess, you got to live by that every single day. So you got to follow her. Spell it for them. Mentality, M-E-N-T-A-L-I-T-Y of yes. O-F, goddess, G-O-D-D-E-S-S. -S. Super dope. Super dope. But um, I appreciate you so much. I'm so grateful for you. And you're right, I have to learn how to walk in my purpose because so many people highlight things about me that I don't recognize in myself. So this is really like a big step for me. 
and I'm going to document my journey. I'm not going to let you down. I really appreciate you. And maybe was- later on down the line, I can go live again with you without makeup on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you should be. I need you to go live at least once a week. You can do. <laughs> okay. You- on live right now in front of a thousand people you can do that i I blocked the thing because i didn't want to see the number (laughs) you i blocked it because i didn't want to see the number guys follow her send her love in her dms i just wanted to give her this platform i i promised her i would do it on clubhouse we were supposed to do it yesterday or two days ago my schedule's been crazy but um just give her this platform for the first step of her breaking out of her shell and not being so nervous you know but you did it it's super super simple and if you did it once you can do it again so you shouldn't have any fear from this point forward and right. you know the the there's two things fear is causes us what if this goes wrong what if this goes wrong what if this goes wrong what if what if what if it's all these what ifs half of the time what you're scared of never happens anyway we about to hop off live and it did not harm you or hurt you it only helps you in your walk towards your purpose right (laughs) like it you know it's so mental so you have to learn to control your mind and put it in a positive space so that your mental does not take over you that fear is so fake it's so fake it's such a mental thing so i love you and i love you i'm so happy i'm so happy like like you really just put that first step into my healing process and i'm gonna document my journey good so when i release my ebooks because i outlined my whole process I'm going to make sure that you and are featured. Even if you're not going live or on YouTube, write down your thoughts, your daily yeah. journey. Keep, that's part of your journey too, you know? Yeah. So I just motivate you, give you this opportunity and give their Instagram one more time before we hop off. Mentality of a goddess. Mentality of a goddess, y'all. Please yeah. follow Faith and give her encouraging words in her um in her DMs, and if anybody wants to link up with her, has a similar story, is going through anything of the same caliber, make sure y'all DM her, tell her your story, and she can connect with people on Instagram. I'm proud of you. I'm so grateful for you. <laughs> I'm so thankful. Like I'm, I'm, Girl. I'm so happy. <laughs> I haven't said that out loud in a while. I'm so happy. Good. So so easy. You should be doing this way more often. Way more often with other people. With a homegirl, somebody you meet on social media, just go live with them and start to face those fears. I am. I'm not going to let you down. Like, nobody believed me because it didn't happen that day. I was like, D. Simone did not just gas me for nothing, y'all, because Clubhouse got a little, you know, things going on. I said, she's going to do it. I was like, I know she's going to do it. I said, everything happens when it's supposed to, and I've gotten over rushing things. It ain't no rush. Things happen when they're supposed to happen. Thank so, you. Thank you for doing it. I love you so much. Proud- like, I feel like you're my big sister now. <laughs> See you in the DMs. Message me, girl. Thank you. Oh, please, please, please follow her and DM her. Thank you, guys. Bye.